We're on SAT practice test 10, math section 2, question 13. What's the level of difficulty here? It's definitely hard. A lot of people are going to find this stupid hard. But those very same people are going to be people who refuse to draw the figure and who don't plug in. Not you. All right, what's really hard is reading this problem. I apologize. Triangles PQR and LMN are graphed in the XY plane. Triangle PQR has vertices PQ and R at 4, 5, 4, 7, and 6, 5, respectively. Triangle LMN has vertices LMN at 4, 5, 4, 7 plus K, and 6 plus K, 5, also respectively. K is a positive constant. The measure of angle Q is T degrees. What's the measure of angle N? Okay, guys, it's a plug-in. How do you know? Because the answer choices are crawling with variables. Secondly, this figure is not here. So what do we need to do? We need to draw it. You think for just a second, it's an XY plane, but what quadrant matters? Only the top right, because everything is positive. So you just got, you don't have to draw it to scale, just do the best you can. The first point P is 4, 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, what's this right here? That's point P. All right, what's the next one? 4, 7. Notice it's on the same thing. It's on the same like line. 4, this is 5, 6, 7 up, right? So what point is this right here? It's Q. And then R is at 6, 5. So we're going to go over 2, 5, 6. And it's on the same thing, it's on the same line here that P is on. So this is R. So let's draw our triangle. And let's note, do we have any kind of like triangle that's notable here? We do, this is a right angle. Okay, now let's do LMN. So LMN is at four, five. Hey look, that's the same place, four, five. So in addition to this being P, it's also L. Four, same here, seven, there's seven plus K. So I'm just gonna go out here on a dotted line. I don't know what K is, so I'm gonna make that K. All right, this right here is what? What point is this? It's M, and then N is 6 plus K, all right? So again, there's 6 over the same basic amount, K. What point is this? It's N. And then let's look at the little beautiful figure we've drawn. It's like two triangles that are the same. They're both right triangles. One of them's bigger. All right, what is the measure of angle Q? Where's Q, first of all? It's right here. It's T degrees. We can plug that in. What do you want it to be? Make something nice and easy. Let's make T degrees equal, how about 30? Because that is really, really easy. That's 30 degrees. If that's 30 degrees, we're looking for angle N. We're looking for this guy right here. Should have said that from the outset. Is this angle here right the same as anything in the small triangle? It's the same as this guy right here, right? What is this angle right here? Well, this is 90, this is 30, 120, 180 minus 120 is 60. That makes this 60 degrees, and that makes N equal 60 degrees. So when we go down to the answer choices, what are we looking for? We're looking for N, 60. I go down, and then I run into this problem, like, oh man, K is in the answer choices. Well, think about it for a second. What is K? First of all, it's part of a side of the triangle. Now, do sides of triangles have anything to do with angles of triangles? I mean, they do, right, proportionally, but what about in terms of the numbers? They don't. It doesn't matter what K is. You can't really plug in for constants. But in this case, I'm gonna, because it doesn't matter what it is. So I'm just gonna throw in K, I'm gonna say, well, this doesn't really matter, it's just a side extension, I'm gonna make it two. All right, so if K is two, this is 90 minus T minus K, 30 minus two, 90 minus 28. Okay, you can ballpark that. Is that gonna be 60? No. B, 90 minus what? T plus K, so 30 plus two, 90 minus 32, and you can ballpark that. Is that gonna be 60? No. C, 90 minus 30. Right, T is 30, is that gonna be 60? Hey, that's 60, so we're gonna keep that one. And this is 90 plus K, that's 92, or whatever we make K, doesn't matter. 
not the right answer. C is the right answer. You can get it right and get it right a lot quicker than it took us to go through this problem, although it does take more time than an average problem. And you move on.